sometimes it's the little things that you need in your scenes to make them look uh, more realistic and if you're going to have pipes um, on the ceiling or on the wall you need a way to attach them to the ceiling or to the wall or to other objects and so I'm going to create a pipe clamp for you this is just one of the many different types so so I'm looking from front view and I'm going to press shift a mesh circle and I'm going to choose 20 vertices go into edit mode and rx90 I'm going to box select the bottom and delete those vertices select these two an E and an SX and pull to make them come out to the sides then I'm going to select these two vertices here shift control B to bevel pull and I want a total of three vertices in there all right select the whole thing and let's copy it or duplicate it shift D rotate X 180 and move it down so that's going to be the bottom piece for the top piece I'm going to select that central vertex X dissolve vertices and then select these two and extrude up a little bit like this press 2 for edge selection and select that edge right there X edges and I have this all right they're joined together and I have a top and a bottom all right turn a little bit and let's give it some width E pull it out like this alt and recalculate outside E and alt S and I'm going to pull out like this select it again and make sure they're all facing outwards okay control 2 for two subdivisions and shade smooth back into edit mode and control R to put an edge loop there and control R to put an edge loop there shift alt and click both of those and then control B and pull roll back to zero so you have just two edges going out to the left and the right like that control R to put an edge loop up and down for that piece and then for this piece like that and then I'm going to come in here and control R drag an edge loop in and drag an edge loop up and drag an edge loop in and drag an edge loop up like that now these pieces here are looking a little short to me so I'm going to go back into edit mode wireframe box select box select but I have that so deselect that let's scale in the axe a little bit more to give a bit more room so that I can put a bolt on top of there all right that should be okay let's create a pipe now a mock pipe right in the middle 3d cursor still right there I'll make it 18 vertices and let's rotate x90 and I'll just scale it just a little bit so imagine there's a pipe in there all right I'm going to select this face and this face I inset pull it in just a little bit and control E bridge edge loops and in two edge selection I'm going to select those edges and those edges and give it a little bevel control B with just one segment in there control 2 for two subdivisions and shade smooth so we can see a pipe uh, in there I'm going to come in here select this top face and shift S cursor to selected bring my 3d cursor there and let's make a bolt a circle we're going to make it six and scale it down fit make a face and then extrude it up and make a nice big bolt and I've got everything selected switch to two edge selection and sh and uh, just control B to bevel pull and I just want one edge in the middle so I got a total of three and shade smooth and then for the shading issues uh, weighted normal and normal auto smooth all right I'm going to take that bolt and I'm going to pull it up and in object mode again I'm going to create another cylinder 18 is fine scale it down so as it as if it uh, attaches to this one here let's get rid of this top face though delete that face and pull it up and let's make it a bit longer like this and we're going to use that again in a moment so before I do anything else let's take this bolt shift D and we'll pull it under there you can change the change the size of it if you want you can rotate it this a little bit 
okay so we'll do something with that bolt in a second let's add another circle up here for a washer make it 18 scale it in I'll make it nice and big uh, F to make a face eat extrude give it some thickness shift alt and click those edges and control B and I'll do control one on that and shade smooth so there's a washer there now I can take this one select a bit and control L and I'm gonna pull it down like this I don't want it poking through just like that and leave it like that for the moment and let's take this and this and let's duplicate it shift D and G we'll pull it down to here and we'll get this top one that's okay like that and it's come in select a bit of this one pull it down and let's rotate that in the Z just a little bit off again and I'm gonna come back in here I'm gonna pull that down a bit okay and then we're gonna take this and okay we got both of them I'll copy it over there in just a moment okay so let's select this one and this one and slash key just to look at both of them and I'm gonna roll my edge my create edge loops there I'll do five of them there I'll leave those ones selected and then come over here and select these five and then control B and pull and just go to about there let's try E and alt S I'm gonna push out quite a bit uh, because I'm gonna put a subdivision on there control one and shade smooth slash key to bring everything else back now I can take this and this from the front and shift D drag it over here I might rotate Z the whole thing all right so select everything and go in and alt and recalculate outside just to make sure let's go ahead and put the cavity shader in the shadow switch this to both and yank these up and we'll put on a matte cap as well just to make it start looking good all right so this is what I've got I basically made the pipe clamp and that and so what I wanted to show you here is uh, if I was to go come in here and uh, go to wireframe and box select this, I'm just going to pull this out longer. So imagine our pipe is long like that. And let's say we want to attach this to a ceiling and I need more of these um, things here. I'm just going to hide that so we can see that in terms of statistics, you know, it's not tiny, uh, it's not huge in terms of count, but I mean, if you wanted to have many of them, you could quickly go up. So uh, one thing that I would I would like I could do is um, let's bring everything back and select it all and let's move it up to about there. And let's uh, shift C to bring the 3D cursor back to there. Let's take it all and um, let's make a new collection and call it uh, clamp and bring the pipe back and shift a collection instance clamp so now I have another one I notice that my vertices haven't changed all right I can do another one here and now I can just copy the shift D all right and it's not changing so if my pipe was longer like that I, I can make a bunch of these and then if I have a, a ceiling let's say so let's just pull this up like that let's just suppose I want to attach to that The nice thing about this is if I have to make an adjustment, say to this bolt, all the other ones will do the same thing. So say that bolt had to be there. So I can attach to the ceiling and I've got some clamps. You can put another washer up there if you want to. If you're just gonna see it from there, maybe that's good enough, just like that. All right, so simple clamps, something that you know, you don't want to have to do and waste a lot of, of polys. And maybe you can find a way to do this in low poly. But uh, you're probably going to need.